Oh, you're just reading the story? Man, Oops. he knows All how right. to keep a secret. Yeah, this did not uh, make the papers. It's breaking. We got breaking news. <laughs> Who wants to do this one? Arnie. Arnie. Stop it! Arnie, <laughs> stop whining. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Quiet. Good old Arnie Quiet. Schwartz. Quiet. Quiet. Do you not Shut respect up! him even more right Shut now? Shut up! Shut oh, up! Yeah. In a way, I do. Stop it! In a way, I do. Stop it! <laughs> Schwarzenegger. Quiet. Quiet. Schwarzenegger. Quiet. Schwarzenegger. Quiet. Stop it! Arnold. Quiet. <laughs> Quiet. Stop. He, um... <laughs> Schwarzenegger. <coughs> Good old Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. Movie star. Uh-huh. Ex-governor of California. Yes. Recently separated, heading toward a uh, divorce with the praying mantis. <laughs> Fathered a child with household staff member. Whoops. <laughs> I just got probably, what is he, like a 30-year-old kid? I mean, his wife just found out about, right? <laughs> Kid's 10 years old, I think. 10, oh, year, 10 years ago. <laughs> and uh, he just decided to tell the old wife. Um, the old wife roo I guess after, you know, he was done with the governor thing, because you know, that would have been a little monkey wrench thrown into that. Uh, and uh, she responded by saying, adios. Hasta la vista. Yes. And, yeah, yeah Arnold, Arnold has a 10-year-old. Let me read a couple of these uh, lines here. Former California Shut governor. Up. Shut up. Arnie Schwarzenegger Shut up. has acknowledged that he fathered a child with a member of his household staff. A revelation that apparently prompted wife Maria Shriver to leave the couple's home before they announced their separation last week. Mm -hmm. And she said the woman worked. They said that she worked for twenty years for the for them, and then retired in January. Retired in January. He's got. Uh, she doesn't have to work anymore. That's it. Lotto right there. She hit the old lotto. She sure did. That's the uh, the Austrian load lotto. <laughs> yes, fucking... the sperminator. <laughs> <laughs> twenty five years she worked. Twenty years, yeah. Why am I? Oh, oh, the marriage is splitting after 25 years. Okay. Yeah. What did she do for the Schwarzeneggers? Do you know him? Uh, fucked Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> One of her duties. Yes, Aunt Maria's vagina. <laughs> oh, she, 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 she cleaned his pipes. Yes. <laughs> after leaving the governor's office, I told my wife about this event, which occurred over a decade ago. Schwarzenegger told the Times in a statement that also was sent to the AP early Tuesday. This is just breaking. I understand. Oh, deserve the AP. I understand and deserve the feelings of anger and disappointment <laughs> among my friends and family. There are no excuses. And I take full responsibility. Of course. There's that dumb you, full responsibility How do you thing not again. take full responsibility? You shot a load in a woman and she got pregnant. You don't have to tell anyone you take full responsibility. People throw that around too much. There should be a full <laughs> responsibility book and then you go in it and go, okay, full responsibility uh, for fathering a child with the help 10 years ago. That. And then it's some kind of... Punishment. Yeah. So you could take the full responsibility <laughs> for the hurt I caused. I have apologized to Maria, my children, and my family. I am truly sorry. Is he, though? No. Of course not. He had to finally deal with it. Uh, there are pictures of both of them kind of out and about without their wedding rings on, having fun. Mm -hmm. You know. It was probably a marriage of convenience after a while. It certainly was. Do you think that maybe political. she knew earlier and just agreed yeah, to stay yeah. with him? I think he, she, of course. she knew he was a womanizer and shit for years. And, uh, she's a Kennedy. Yeah. Of yeah. course. When She's a Kennedy. They're used to that kind of shit. Yeah. When she saw the toddler crawling around lifting couches and stuff, <laughs> she said, wait a minute, something's wrong here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, what the hell is going on with that maid's kid? <laughs> the maid's baby is just fucking got this giant jaw. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> he was t saying Gaga, Google, and Terminate and everything. Was <laughs> oh, Chip. You sure are funny. And then another <laughs> oh. another crap <laughs> statement right here. I asked the media, all media, to respect my wife and children through this extremely difficult uh, time. Like you respected your wife and children yeah, by exactly. fucking another woman? <laughs> Come on. While I deserve your attention and criticism, my family does not. Oh, yeah. they're going to get hounded. The Times did not publish the former staffer's name uh, nor that of her child, but said the woman worked for the family, like you guys said, for 20 years. Retired in January. I wonder... Uh, that wasn't... 
a, she wasn't retiring in January. No. That's when everyone found out. Get out. That's when everyone found out, and Maria's like, pack your fucking bags and take yeah. your, your kid. Please leave with your, your bastard child. Yes. Leave my household. Yes. And she did the same. So. Get the fuck out of Dodge. That's a great story. Just breaking. Just breaking, breaking news now. Oh, really? What? Oh, I see. Oh. Ant might be heading toward a boxing match, everyone. <laughs> oh, please. And I got a little info. That'll be the fucking day. Oh. And I got a little info. Are we done with the Arnie thing before we move on? Well, if you want to move on to that, sure. Ant uh, boxing, I think, is, is breaking news. Do you think I would <laughs> fucking box? Have sure. You been, have what you been the hitting the heavy bag? Is this? You getting ready? Heavy bag. You got to spend some time on that speed bag. <laughs> the only time I hit the bag is when my, the, the the back of my hand hits my balls while I'm jacking off, jacking it, and my bag. You know, <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> I like that when you get the bag involved. Do, Juggles yeah. around a little bit. Yeah. Whenever I'm sitting, if I'm jerking off on the couch, <laughs> if I, if it's chilly and I'm on bed, my scrotum is like holding on to my my dick base for dear life. <laughs> But if I'm on the sofa and my legs are spread and my bag is hanging and I'm fucking just pumping and it's just it feels wonderful to jostle jumping it. around jostling yeah to I feel like I'm shaking oh, yeah. a baby for crying <laughs> be quiet I keep yelling that <laughs> be quiet. <laughs> oh god you're not boxing huh you're not sparring I are you shadow boxing I'm not boxing with anybody no I don't fight. I don't fucking engage in fisticuffs with anybody that wants to have some type of dispute with me. Kenny uh, teaches me how to box and shows me a few moves. He can show you a few moves. I don't need moves. He can show you how to duck and hit and stuff. Uh, really Body don't. shots. I, I prefer not to use uh, my nice, uh, soft uh, Matt <laughs> Hooper, soft from counting money all my life, hands. <laughs> Schwarzenegger is 63, by the way. Uh, 63 and Shriver. Is a is a bad fifty five. She's a horrid fifty five. The praying mantis. I'll say it again. Wow. Yes. Uh, you ever uh, you ever uh, uh, find her attractive there? Aunt? Nope. Even when she was younger. Nope. She was one of the better looking Kennedys. Though, nope. Or through that Kennedy clan, right? Nope. They all got that wacky Kennedy face. Ah, with that mouth. Ah, look yeah. at my teeth. What happened to all of them? I what, don't fucking know. It's, JFK it's was inbreeding a, or something. JFK was a good-looking guy, right? Nah, you just look at JFK as a good-looking guy because he's got that legacy. He was the president, and he uh, he died young. But if he got he older, wasn't a good -looking guy, you he would have been like, he was kind of wacky-looking. He had that fucking wacky mouth. He had that, the flip-top head. Then why, oh, that was later. <laughs> why did all the broads Why did all the broads like uh, JFK and say that he's a good-looking guy? Powerful guy. A lot of people, magnetic. A lot of people say he was the best-looking president of all time. Powerful guy. Well, at the time, probably. I'm just saying, they all got that wacky. Who, which Kennedy hit the tree there when it, while he was skiing? Mikey. Mike. Mike. His fucking teeth. Don't make us play that a bit mouth. from 15 years ago. That fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Jesus! I'd rather hear. Watch out for that tree. <laughs> I'd rather hear fucking bra bombing. <laughs> e -Rock, please find that. Oh god! Because he, he just referenced Mike Kennedy for the first time Mike in years. Mike Kennedy. I think he was a handsome guy, uh, JFK. I think you're wrong. JFK, really? Yeah. Well, he probably was uh, out of the whole lot, I would say. I think he had big teeth, though. But he did. They all got those Kennedy choppers. Really weird. Yeah, you know, they're not a good looking. Clan. They're not a good looking family. Who, who fucked it all up? Was it Rose? Yeah, I think Rose had that weird oh. fucking. Thing Rose going brought on. the teeth into the family. Yeah, yeah. And that'll take generations uh, to to go away, right? Well, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Made him an easy target. <laughs> Jesus. Hmm. What? Uh, What's 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 going on with this? Is there n breaking news on this dumb what, you fucking Ian Halpern work? What are you what you forget how to do radio? We don't just give it away right away. Give it away now. We want to know what you're doing to train. Are you watching Rocky films? Train. I went to a fashion show yesterday. <laughs> are you, oh, that's are all you, I'm training. Are you drinking your raw eggs every morning? <laughs> no. Finding some stairs to run up? Nah. Nothing? I, you know. Are you drinking anything with the consistency of raw eggs after the fashion show, <laughs> you fucking mo? The fashion show. What about one-arm uh, push-ups? No. 
There you go. I'm not really doing those. This is either. for Anthony. He's getting ready for a big boxing match. I do. Uh, <laughs> I do the kettlebell workouts. Hey, all right, that's a start. And then I uh, I do uh, work on my uh, on the machine. You know, I got yeah. the uh, all types of different uh, lifting exercises, and uh, then your basic you know lunges and squats, mm -hmm. uh, push ups, uh, and then where you got to put your uh, you know your legs up on the big rubber ball there and uh, nice. get a little incline. When you're doing your push-ups, and then with one leg on the ball and doing the push-ups uh, sure. like that, and then uh, uh, fly uh, flies off the uh, off the ball. You lay there on the on the back, uh, things like that. Just a lot of, and then a lot of core, a lot of core exercise. So you got your core in good shape. Yes, my how, core. How's your jab? How's your hook? Uh... I couldn't tell you one thing about boxing. Your trainer doesn't put up the fighting. mitts for you? It's not a train. He's, he's a personal trainer for, you know, fitness, not for boxing. Do you feed your turtles before you go running? <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> Coffin Link. <laughs> Coffin Link. We could probably. Uh, we could go to the zoo and look at the tiger. <laughs> you put peanut butter on your ball so butt gifts can look it off. <laughs> <laughs> Probably can find some meat hanging somewhere for you. Yeah, I should uh, duke it out. Yeah, oh, it's... that's it. <laughs> of course, it's too easy. It's sitting right there. <laughs> you rock just waves. You rock waves. <laughs> there you go. Side of beef. I get it. Not only did he wave, he's sitting up. He's he sitting is. up nice and straight. He's sitting this up morning. proud. He's oh, proud. Head. Loudly like... and proudly. No, I um, I'm not. Uh, well, Ian Halpern. Boxing. Um. Jimmy, I, I'm bummed you weren't here for the, the Lacey and Halpern. You and me both. Oh, was that a grand he, fucking day. He brought, in our opinion, two hookers. I think they were um, escorts of some type. I think they were hireable girls for a variety of things. Okay. That's how I'll put it. If you need a girl to do some kind of um, acting for you, maybe, or if you needed a girl for companionship, or you needed a girl to... Um, have a fake girlfriend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that uh, that's what uh, these girls did. Absolutely, we were trying to get them to kiss and do stuff because supposedly they were having sex all night. And and when they did kiss, it was really awkward. Like they haven't even done that yet. Like but he the... always had to turn his head and like he he turned his head to the left and and then he tilt it and the, the the girls just looking like oh god hasn't there been enough oppression and oppression in this country. I gotta lay into this Canadian Jewish guy. <laughs> Wait, were they white or black girls? They were black girls. One was like was very light black. super black, and the other one was very, very light uh, black. And I, I, I guess I'm allowed to say this. Uh, there was a guy that got a hold of me and said, Oh, I swear to you, when mm -hmm. I was in New York, I hired one of those girls." Yeah, and, and that, that's uh, this guy's this, this guy yeah, saying yeah. it on Twitter. I swear to you, I have no idea. If we can't even prove what he's saying is true. Brian Nagel, senior equity research analyst in Oppenheimer. Wow, that's like... How did your brother do so well yet? He looks like Eric Logan. I was going to say that's Elo and E-Rock put together. It, it is put together. <laughs> E-Rock low. E-Rock low. E -Rock. Apparently he's nagled some of the figures there. Up yeah, on the, uh... I see that. He looks... <laughs> he obviously sat on this part of the chart. <laughs> oh, 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 the low part of the chart. <laughs> Had been sat upon? Is that what you're implying? Yeah. When the Dow dipped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thanks geez. for helping my line with some visual. oh, that's <laughs> visualization. Yeah, I'm going to so, give Danny a website. You might, if you can, look there and see if, if, oh. you, if, any, if you know what these girls look like, if they pop up on ah, there. I guess uh, another A lot guy, of people have been searching for these women yeah. because we were, we were very suspicious. Of course, Ian Halpern... Uh, we, I guess, do we like him? I don't even know. Is he a friend? Yeah. Some of the staff likes him. I don't know if I'm supposed to say I like him now because he's pulling this work, you know, trying you to get this work? Oh, trying to get this battle uh, between me and him started. You're not taking this seriously. You're going to get your ass kicked unless yeah. you oh, fucking get your, gonna happen? yourself in boxing shape. Yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> But Ian comes in. He writes books. He wrote the Governor. I wonder if I wonder if he knew about the the love child in his book because yeah, it was ten years he'll ago. He'll tell you he said he said years ago that this was coming. He'll he'll tell you that. And then in order to dispel it, you have to read his book. So he wins. Sure. Either way. Yeah, because he came in to promote that the Governor book. 
Uh, and then recently came in to promote a Charlie Sheen movie on the TV Guide channel. TV Guide channel uh, the and, other night it was on, I guess. And he, he likes the Michael Jackson movie too. And he likes yeah. to bring uh, bring girls with him to to kind of I don't know show that he's a rock star or, or something. Yeah. And the two girls were very suspicious. It, it seemed to us right away that he, these girls barely knew him, and that they were hired to hang out with him. Yeah. And then one guy, like I said on Twitter, swears to me when he came to New York, he hired one of the girls, and that's all he said, by the way. So I don't even know. Just hired. You know, whatever. But if he was hint- actresses, or he was hinting that it was of the escort variety. Yeah. And then, yeah. Since then, whoa! What's that? That's her. Oh. That is definitely. Oh, her. that's that's the chick. Wait, that's one of Ian's that's, chicks that he brought that's on Friday. The, that's the light skin on, one. Pretty. Up on our TV right now. And what site is this from? <sighs> that's not from a site. That's oh. from my phone. Oh, that's your phone. And what is this gentleman implying that this shot was uh, taken? Well, they were. A- she's an actress. An actress. Okay. And uh, that's a wrestler named the ECW Zombie who texts me. Oh, oh. And he said that he was doing this weird like internet acting deal uh, on Saturday. Uh huh. And she was there, and she started talking to him about her experience. With Ian Halperin. With Ian Halperin. Oh. Can we get her on the phone now that if... Yeah, we're assuming that he hired her for a day or two, so she has nothing to lose now. I would like to... Uh, so she, 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 she's not a hooker, she's an actress. As far as I know, she's an actress. Oh, maybe that's how he got her. Actress out. slash... And actress. Actress he, slash actress, yeah. Do you want... The story that she told was that. Should I read this, or you're going to do all this? You can you can read it if you no, want. No, I don't care. Oh, oh, she's not. pretty, man. All right, then do it. Then you. Did she look as good in person? No. Huh? No. 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 <laughs> oh, no. The pictures. She was a little. Uh, yeah, she, yeah. She was. Uh, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I like white girls. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, plenty of white really in her. She was a little ragged around the edges. Nice smile. But um, she's better than the There's other. There's enough one. white in there where it would turn a few of uh, your family members on your side. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You can't bring them home too dark. Depends, depends oh, my on family wouldn't care. They'd be like, family. does she have a dick? I'd say no. They'd be like, thank God, we marry her. <laughs> Immediately. We love her. <laughs> All right, Sam, walk us through this. So that's one of Ian's girls from Friday. Yeah, so that's he texted me that picture, and I was like, yeah, that's her. And so I said, ask her about it. Tell, Get the story. She responded to a Craigslist ad that Ian posted. Ian posted a Craigslist this is, ad. Her story is that Ian posted a Craigslist ad uh-huh. uh, claiming that he would give money uh, to girls who would come and hang out with him. Oh, interesting. When did he post the ad? Because it might still be up. It might still be there in the archives. Uh, it must archives. have been the day before he came in. So Had a big. Thursday? Well, can we go on Craigslist? Thursday or go maybe to yeah. Wednesday, Thursday-ish? Right, right, right. I would say Craigslist and look up... Uh, His Highness. No, I'm trying to think of where you would look. Not casual and casual, nothing is sexual. Uh, jobs available, acting, maybe there's an acting section in there. It's funny, I don't know where any legit stuff is. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently you can get a, a, a tranny or a lawnmower. That's all I know about <laughs> Craigslist. There's a, I see a job <laughs> section. It will have one, they used to have adult jobs, but now they probably have... Uh, check for acting if there's any acting jobs. Uh, engineering, art, media. Oh, yeah. People are saying post that picture. I, I don't know how, uh, how much. We want to get involved with. Yeah, I mean, there's I want to a lot of hearsay and stuff. But. Yeah, I wouldn't post it to you know for a fact it's her and she's cool with it being posted. Yeah, I would, that, absolutely. Talent. Talent. So yeah, so she, she she and her she saw this ad and she said that she and her girlfriend what decided to Ian Halperin. I don't think he put his name. Nah, no, he, he wouldn't put his name. Who knows? You have to look for him. certain keywords. Zilch. <laughs> Zilch. Uh, put ra- radio, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Flop. Phony. 30 copies sold. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hang on. What day, what day would the ad have been posted? The day, the day of or before? Wednesday or Not Thursday. Day of. It Wednesday. would have been... Give me the... It might be before. Uh, I would say before that. He might have posted it a couple days before. So either, like, between the okay. 10th and the 12th. Because the appearance was on the 13th. the 13th and the 12th. Let's, Let's say. see. They usually let... I think anybody taking the ad down, but I mean, they usually last for a week, I think. Always uh, dreamt of being on the radio. No, nah, that was that was just for. What is that one? Is uh, it's for a comedy club. It's for Times Square Comedy. Oh, club. oh, oh, great. Um, looking oh. for mm, mm. radio interviews now booking. And 
Why don't, you, why don't you do a little boxing in this downtime? Yeah. yeah. Should you, I? Should you, I really? You uh, gotta get your training. Models work. and dancers. <laughs> work on your jab. Work on your jab. Do you really? Is that what I need to do? <laughs> yeah. Hey man, he's serious. I, I'm. Sam, I'm not walk us through this as we try to find anything. the ad. Because right, so the, the ad is gonna be tough to find. The ECW zombie is still texting me updates right now. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh I, okay. We have her phone number, so we can try to get her on the phone. Oh. Cool. All right. Good. Um. So what happened was. She and her girlfriend. Can't the zombie call our show real fast too? Of course, the ECW zombie loves calling the show. E Has he been zombie. on? He's a big special delivery guy. He's, uh. he's a bit of a psychopath. Uh. Ah, Don't just don't say it. It's just an idea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't see that far. Could you uh, pass that over to? I, I won't say. Gregorio. Yes. No, no, I know. Ah, very good. Suggestion. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I good, idea. Too good idea. Good uh, idea. Yes. <laughs> Boy, I've made a couple of wonderful revelations like that. <laughs> oh, oh, have you? Girl, that when I lived in my old building, a girl who lived down the hall. Mm -hmm. Um, I forget how she left her keys in the door one time, and I did that, and um, I realized that she was a prostitute. Really? Yeah. Your and neighbor was a prostitute? Yeah, five doors down <laughs> my old what apartment a on 43rd Street. And uh, Did you ever... Uh... Did I... Without a rubber. I fucked her 30 times without a rubber. Oh, holy I would come at her. <laughs> 30 times? Yeah. I'll, well, I'll let some people know what it is. It did doesn't... you cry when you had to move? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I started to feel that bad. That really is very close. She was a heavy drinker. I started to feel bad. It's not coming up as anything? Okay, cool. I said to, uh, also, is the search settings on um, everything, or is it on my, uh, mild? I love how oh. he just says stuff like mild? that casually. One of his fucking... I, everything. One of your neighbors was a pro, and you just casually tell the story and move on. Well, I told Danny to go, uh, Google the number, that's why. So I remember one time, a neighbor of mine had left her keys, and I forget how I got her number, but it was one of those reasons. Like, because she left her keys, or whatever. I asked for the number, and she finally gave it to me, because I would always see her on the floor. And she was sexy. I'd see her in the elevator. I was like, fuck shit, great tits. So I Googled her number and she was an escort. And I called it and I was like, hey. And she goes, uh, it's $400 for oh, the hour. Shit. Uh, this is blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you want this and that. And I'm like, well, it's Jim from down the hall. Oh. And she said, uh, like, oops, I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> she said oh, that's it was something like that. <laughs> and you said, No, you didn't. No, ma'am. You, you made said, a windfall. You said the magic words. <laughs> I used to get over half hours. She would she, she would literally walk over and we would just have unprotected sex. It How was, convenient for her too. She just dude, gets to walk down the hallway. It was fucking so hot. Knowing you're probably not gonna choke her. It was great. Dude. Would you be in your in your apartment some nights just Jones and knowing she's right down the hall? Yeah, I'd call her and just see if she was around or text her or whatever. Yeah. I remember if I texted yeah, I texted back then. More mm. pictures coming in from the actress that Ian brought in. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah making that's believe it. that she was yeah, one of fun. his goddesses. That was the that was the whole thing if you didn't hear the show. Ian making believe he had goddesses. Her ass doesn't yeah. look as big as it did um when she was here. But so they responded to this ad and Ian gave them cash, he said, not to appear on the show, just it's like, here, have some money. And then he took them out, and he bought them the outfits. He bought their outfits? That they were wearing. He bought them the outfits. Yeah. And then he brought them to some karaoke bar, and so they were out late. And then, I mean, I don't, and then I don't know what happened beyond that, but then he brought them here, and, just, and then they just played along. And then once they left, apparently he says that she said that they were outside... And Ian started, you know, getting close to both of them and kind of kissing them and touching them. And they both got creeped out and left him. But now I'm getting a text that he's texting her, offering them money to move to Miami with him. Oh, boy. <laughs> Where's Ian get all this money? I he's know. as high as Hollywood. Does he have a lot of money, you think? I don't know how much money I think he has. Ian, <clears throat> if he's doing that, yeah. he, he's the same type of text I would send. He's jer if he's doing that, he's jerking off furiously right now, uh, and the idea that she would say yes to that is turning him on. It's just, that's enough yeah. to it's, get yeah, him going. Yeah, it's weird. Mm. Like, if you could get someone to go, yeah, I'll move there for money, it's just like, he could probably come to that. Yeah. Because he's a foot, remember that if he liked uh, Dr. Uh, Victoria Zadrock's feet? So he's a foot guy, he's a sub, so the idea of, he's probably a fucking uh, a financial right. slave. You want to talk to the zombie? Uh, yes, of course I do. All right. No, he's gone now. What happened to the ECW zombie? Very he was there. He was there. 
disemboweling somebody and eating them. And yeah. then does he do that? Whoa. Oh shit! He, there's a picture of him. Is he a big wrestler? No, he's not. He wrestled. <laughs> uh, one, he's had one television match, except it was so like weird because he was a zombie. That now he's like he does conventions and stuff as the ECW zombie. Did he did he like move too slow because he's a zombie? He was like oh. he yells brains and he comes out <laughs> to the ring like a zombie. No, that's the worst zombie. And, ever. And you watch this shit. He came in here on Halloween and he gave cousin Brucey a bear hug. <laughs> but who is he? He's the ECW zombie. No, he. Do you like him? He's the best. <laughs> Why are you laughing? He's the best. He's a zombie wrestler. Uh -huh. Right. We made him come in full gimmick when he did it at a special delivery in studio. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? It's radio. We want the zombie. Of course, you want the zombie. Sure. It's Halloween. <laughs> I guess he's not calling back, so. Oh, uh, he's going to be really pissed off that he missed his opportunity to be on the Opie and Anthony to show. To talk about Ian Halpern and his fake him. goddesses. Yeah. When did you start calling your mouth full gimmick? <laughs> <laughs> Not what he was in. I don't understand what Ian Halpern's big fucking problem is. So, because apparently I said something. I don't know. What, what, what do we got? Zombie. Wait, something's here. going on. Zombie. We got the zombie. Zombie. All right. Here's the ECW zombie. There he is. Gentlemen. Do the brains thing. Ah. <laughs> do brains. Brain. <laughs> ah, that's nice. it. It's that's the him. zombie. That's him, all right. It's the ECW zombie. <laughs> At this uh, point, I'll come out and, uh, and mow your lawn, too, Mr. Premier. Ah, thank you, sir. I have some gardeners, though, that I yes, dress master. as zombies myself. Yeah. Uh, they're called Mexicans. <laughs> so you just happened to uh, know one of the goddesses that Ian brought in here, making believe, you know, it was some girl that just really wanted Ian. Yeah, I, I'm at the point in my career where I'll pretty much do anything for a, a few bucks. So <laughs> <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was it's, um, like super ultra super superhero character type of video shoot on Sunday for for comic book geeks that like to watch virtual reality comic books and <laughs> this chick was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever this, this chick was one of the girls that was that was there there was there was one other girl too and basically I was the evil mauler I, I was the I was the goon uh huh so. Right before one scene, uh, we're upstairs in this room. It was like a Brooklyn brownstone. And, and we're upstairs in this room, and, sh and and I say to her, okay, so I'll just stay here, and I'll just be the big, toofy goon. And sh I swear to Christ, she goes out of nowhere. She says, oh, that's, um, you know Club Soda Kenny? That makes sense, because I told her all about Club Soda Kenny before she came in the studio. Uh-huh. So it, that's why it was in her head. It was a big... I was a big doofy goon. She said she brought oh. a club soda can. <laughs> oh, that gotcha. should be the natural segue for anyone who hears yeah. that word, yes. big doofy goon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, long story short, you know, I'm a big, I'm a big fan of the show, but I didn't That's show sick. my hand to her, and I was like, "Oh, really? Yeah, I, I know him a little bit. Why? What's going on?" She was like, "Well, I was on the show on Friday. I didn't hear the show Friday, but she's like, I was on the show Friday, and I was." Um, one of Ian Halpern's goddesses. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. And she pulls out her phone and she showed me and she told me. And then I was like, yeah, let's, let's, let's get a little picture together. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. And you sent that and right to Sam. Total, total detective mode for the show at that point. And then Sam, of course, got a, got a text a short time later. How did he meet her? How did he meet her? Yeah. Through, through, through Craigslist. He met her through Craigslist. He met it through Craigslist. Uh, then he apparently he took her to BB's. He bought her the dress that she wore, and and then he took her to karaoke, and he sang "Midnight Train to Georgia" to her. Sounds like Ian to me. Wow. <laughs> yeah. What a weirdo. But nothing went. But 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 nothing went on uh, according to her, and I believe her. And and she was like, she was like, because he started. The next day after the appearance, he was getting like started to get touchy feely with her. Uh huh. And she didn't like that. And then uh, apparently there's a YouTube video online of of him taking a photo of her with her posing with with Elmo. There is a YouTube because he posted it yeah. and he said, "Hey, look, somebody posted a YouTube video. They saw me <laughs> with Elmo. 
not acknowledging that he just had somebody film him with Elmo. <laughs> like he acted like somebody saw Ian Halpern and made this video right. and Ian found it on YouTube. That he's that's, a big star. That's her. Yeah. That's her yeah, with the uh, She's El sexy. With yeah, she's Elmo right. and, and the fake yeah, cookie she's monster. Girl. She's pretty right. Elmo without the nose. <laughs> right. She's only 20 years old. Like I felt really bad. I felt Oh, uh, her tits were horrible for 20. Oh, oh my god, so seriously? What happened? Yeah. Wait, dude, is she an actress? Yeah, she's, uh, well, no, she's an aspiring actress. She does, like, a lot of promo work for, like, Bacardi. Okay. She's, like, one of those Coors Lights girls. Oh, yeah, the booze girls. But it's just a scumbag business. Like, people owe her, she's counting, people owe her, like, $1,450. And this guy, Ian, didn't even give her a fucking dime. <laughs> and, then, and then he texted her yesterday, he wants to bring her down to Miami Beach, and all expenses paid, of course, I guess, to, I guess to, 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 to pull the same gimmick. I'm like, you don't understand. She, she doesn't know that she did work. I was like, you made him look good. Wait, what was, the, uh, what was the ad she answered, though? She wasn't getting paid. It said, it said it'll pay you big money. It'll pay you big money. But he played on, on her kindness for, for, for weakness. Like, the girl legitimately is not a fucking, like, a, a piece of shit yet. I mean, she's just she's here. <laughs> well, yeah, she's, she's going for her, she's going for her masters. We learned that on Friday. Well, I don't know. I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know where she lives? Rough? Is she a New Yorker or Jersey? Yeah, she lives uptown somewhere. I think because uh -oh. my buddy was dropping her off. My buddy, the cameraman, he was dropping her off uptown. Ah, uh -huh. did he fool yeah, around with her? Off uptown. Damn, no, no, he's not going out. No, he's he's lives up in Poughkeepsie. He's married. He's, oh, all right. Now, what the way. fuck, uh, like, w w Ian didn't pay her, is what she said? Ian did not pay her. He said he gave her it, 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 the exact text that she sent all to me. All right, uh -huh. hold, hold on, zombie. Hold on, hold on, because I don't want to lose this. Stay in the line. This is uh, Olive. Olive. Oh, okay. Olive. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. You were one of the goddesses. What the fuck, you guys waking me up? It, it, what time is it? It is very it's early, and we apologize, but unfortunately, this is what time we have to do this, yeah, this stupid is show. Very important stuff. Uh, we got the ECW zombie on the line. Uh, Ian Halpern is uh, threatening Anthony with a boxing match, and of oh, course, you were one boy. of the fake goddesses <laughs> on Friday, and we're trying to get to the bottom of this story, she finally. The, she no the goddess fault I just of, saw the picture of? Yeah. No fault oh. of yours, though. No fault of yours. Uh, we realize, you know, what you were doing, and that's cool and everything. We, we, were, wanna... we were hoping you were going to blow up his spot live on Friday, but uh, that's all right, I guess. We just want to know what what the deal was with the. Woke me up too. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, well, zombie. Right. We just want to know what the. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's zombie man. Zombie. Um, yeah. Hold on. We, we, I'm going to put zombie on hold. Zombie yeah. doesn't sleep. He's undead. Yeah, he <laughs> sure is. He's un friggin something about radio. <laughs> Unknowledgeable. I have no idea what I'm trying to say. That's all right. You're, hey, Olive. you're thinking about the fight. Olive's yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, um, <laughs> what did Ian say that he was going to give you? Did he, did he say he was going to give you money? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was something like that. Yeah. Something like that. And, and uh, what, what we're hearing from the zombie is uh, that you weren't compensated for your appearance here on the show, right? Uh, I mean, I pretty much got some breakfast out of it, and that's about it. Breakfast out of it. And breakfast and a dress. Yeah. And, 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 of course, the company for the day with the uh, amazing Ian Halperin. Oh, yeah. Awesome. It was awesome. I had an awesome time. Now, what's, uh, what like, is that like when you're hanging out with Ian? Give us a little bit of, you know, obviously we saw what was going on here in the studio and having a lot of fun with it, but what was it like hanging out with him when you weren't here on the show? Uh, I mean, it wasn't that bad. I mean, he's not that bad. Yeah, but did he you... He has a ribbon of a new asshole. He's not that bad. Did you answer a Craigslist ad? <laughs> uh, my, my friend hooked me up with it. My friend hooked me up with it. What was the ad? What did it say? Yeah, what was the ad uh, I promising? Don't I don't know. She, she, she hooked me up with it. She was like, hey, come up, come up here with me or whatever. My, our opinion is... <laughs> Ian doesn't really like to have sex with girls, but we don't know for sure. <laughs> That's what I would think. <laughs> so uh, he, he he tried to put the moves on me. He's not gay, guys. He's not he gay. was trying oh, to put moves okay. on He's you, trying but, to put moves on but he wasn't paying you enough for that shit, Are right? <laughs> I'm not a hoe, guys. I'm not a hoe. Are you not? Okay, we have, we have no, to ask no, this no, no, You're not an, no, you're not an escort? 
Yeah, because so, a lot of people are thinking you might be a hoe, so it's good you, you're saying that to clear your own no, name I'm here. No, I'm not. Are, no, I'm not a hoe. Are you an I'm actress? Not, I'm not an escort. Yes, I'm an actress. Okay. What, now, what was the attraction of the gig for you? Did you think there'd be money, or what, what exactly did your friend tell you that it was going to be? Uh, it's going to be fun, get some, get a little bit of cash out of it, whatever. And I was like, oh, you know, I heard that you guys were raunchy assholes, and um, <laughs> I kind of got, I got a slick mouth, so I was like, yeah, let me go on the air at 8 a.m., show these motherfuckers what it's about, whatever. Yeah. And then, like, all I got out of you guys was black jokes. That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> all we got, really. Like, I wasn't, re like, yeah, I'm like, okay, so let me go on air at 8 a.m., Tootsies and Hootsies, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Who did that? I was gone. I'm Anthony. so happy I was. Oh, of course. Anthony, you motherfucker, you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. You uh, know, I'm trying to keep it classy. I'm, you know, I got my all-white angelic outfit on. You guys are lucky. <laughs> I know. I, back. I was trying to be nice and ladylike. Well, I'm the resident racist you know around here, so, <laughs> you know. You wanted to go ghetto. You know you guys, <laughs> she wanted to go ghetto on your ass. People, yeah, you guys are the first people that actually recognize that I'm black. Everybody else thinks I'm Spanish, so... Yeah, well, I think the, uh, the yeah, other... Think you. The other goddess kind of, you know, was kind of a... Oh, okay, two black chicks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So you had... Did, a, did you know that? Did you know the other girl? Yeah, yeah, she's my friend. Oh, okay. So right. you guys had to make believe you were high class, kind of going for your masters and all that No, we bullshit. are high class. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm I do sorry. have degrees. I do have degrees. Oh, okay. So you guys were like, I was about to say it, but then she's like, oh, no, yeah, whatever. But I'm, I'm, I really am educated. Now, madam, you and I, I did not meet, so I didn't get a chance to talk to you. What, What is your degrees in? And how old are you? Uh, I can't tell you my age because models never tell their age. Okay, fair enough. But um, media, media studies and psychology was minor in Spanish. Oh, cool. Are you a good actress? I'm an awesome actress. I mean, you were fooled, right? I, I wasn't here. No, we weren't fooled at all. We knew yeah. something was going on. <laughs> but we that were, was more on the part of Ian. <laughs> we were really frustrated you didn't blow up his spot on Friday. Were you Were you getting, like, kind of skeeved out when he was kissing you so much? Uh, no, no, not really. I mean, it's part, it comes with the territory. Yeah, that's some territory. Did you kiss him back? <laughs> Closed mouth. Oh, uh, did, did I? Yeah, yeah. no tongue. Sort I never of. saw any I don't any remember. Tongue. It was so fucking early, man. It was early. What, when did and you I'm tell... Donor, guys. Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> when did you tell Ian to beat it? Yeah, buzz off. Yeah, how did this uh, whole thing end? <laughs> I mean, after breakfast, it was like, oh, okay, see you later, have a good one, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't like, go oh, get the fuck out of here, uh, was he t was he talking about like oh that went really well that was great that was good? <laughs> I love your impression of him. Oh, <laughs> oh priceless! Ah uh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ian, man. Good times, good times. What'd you have for breakfast? I uh, had what then or now? Then. Then or now? No, no. Then oh, with, with Ian, where'd you go? Oh, shit! Hey. Some fucking early guy. That's all right. Uh, Bluefin, it was nice. It was nice. He wasn't cheap. He's not cheap, okay? So. Oh, wow. But he didn't give you any money. I did, I did yeah. get some nice stuff. Wait a minute. I did get some nice stuff. <laughs> Olive, do you think he gave your friend money and she might have shortchanged you? Oh. No, no, no. That happens. I've seen it. No. All right. Yeah, he, oh. he got her a dress and some karaoke and some burgers and breakfast. Olive's you know. very pretty. <laughs> so that's great. I liked her photo. Oh, thank you. You're very lovely. Yeah, Jimmy likes Olive. Thank you. Yeah. Jimmy is attractive to Olive. There's a picture yeah, of you yeah. with um, two creatures. Attracted, oh, the uh, dumb fucking... Oh, God. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I met Timmy doing a shoot uh, on Sunday. And I was like, man, I met a guy called, named Club Soda Kenny. Isn't that an awesome name? And he was like, Club Soda Kenny. Opie and Anthony, right? And then we realized that we know all the same fucking people. <laughs> I meant the Elmo monsters, not the oh, <laughs> not the zombie monsters. Yeah, oh the, uh, you have a oh picture here with Elmo, on fucking YouTube, giant on Elmo, YouTube. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who who filmed the uh, Elmo video? Some some clown, and I looked you guys up on Twitter. Some fat fuck saying, "Oh my God, those cunts are hideous." And I'm like, you know what? You think that these cunts are hideous because you've never seen a cunt, you fat gay motherfucker, you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sounds like. Person yeah. I was talking to yesterday. Whoever, whoever 
the fat motherfuckers on Twitter saying those cookies. Every are fan we have. Oh my god, please. <laughs> you're talking to about ten thousand people at one time. I know you're listening with that comment. Yeah, I know he's listening. I know he's listening right now with his finger up his ass saying, Who me? Who? <laughs> yeah, this chick's ghetto, man. Do you have a yeah. do you have a Twitter, Olive? No, I don't Twitter. No. No. Oh <laughs> uh, well. Why can, not? I can don't we, Twitter. Can we give your phone Twitter number to Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> no, we, no, don't give my phone number out. My phone number is for special people only. Oh, oh ain't special doing that. people. Give it to Jimmy Norton. <laughs> well, you were all right on Friday. We were just bummed you didn't blow up his spot because that would have been great for us. But it, it, <laughs> it, was, it was funny. Because he's such a phony with everything. You it know? was goddamn funny, and I over think. the top. And he gives us great oh, I mean, radio. It was a Charlie Sheen thing. It was a Charlie Sheen thing, and he interviewed all Charlie Sheen's goddesses, so it makes sense for him to come, for him to come on, show, on the show with goddesses. Of I course. Guys right. on. Did you, you guys? I thought you guys were catching on. Did you guys sleep uh, together, any of that shit, in the same bed? I, any sex, Any anything going on? I might have to punch you out. Oh, that's a definite <laughs> no. That's a no. no right? Olive is saying she did not give up the booty to Ian Hubbard. <laughs> no, okay. and that's and that's essentially what we I need. Like to, like all we needed it, to know. I, remember, I like to keep it professional. Did you not just call me this morning and I was like, "Hey guys, I want to keep it professional." Yeah. You're yeah. like, "Oh, it'll be fun." And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah but let me have some fun at, at that, the hour." Oh, and believe me, and, compared to the last time you were on, this is uh, the utmost professional. Wait, <laughs> yeah, that's why we're asking these questions because I mean, Ian wanted everyone to think that he was just having sex with you two all night long and. And uh, you know, staggered into the studio after you know pulling an all nighter. So it's good to get your side of the story. No, I did party all night though. That's yeah. why I didn't have any makeup on. <laughs> yeah. Ah. And you you are beautiful, by the way. So for whoever is saying that on Twitter is ridiculous. I don't. Uh, I don't, I only saw one picture of you, but I have to say you you're very uh, lovely. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. I would like to link yeah. arms with you. You'd like to link arms with me and frolic and skip down the sidewalk as we eat ice cream and lollipops? I was thinking more of chicken to a motel and do golden showers in the tub, but I mean, that <laughs> sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could start there. <laughs> yeah, I, I, the, way you, the way you said it sounds nicer. Oh, so what the hell? We have frolicking with lollipops, sure. Before that. <laughs> so, what do you, have you been in plays and stuff? Olive? Hello? Olive. Yeah, can you hear me? I'm yeah, sorry. now he can. I have an iPhone. Yeah, yeah. Have, have you? Have you? I don't do. I don't do plays or theater. Um, I do mostly like modeling, print work, and stuff. Like, I've been in a couple of lookbooks, and I do uh, a lot of promotions. Like, I've done everything from Nestle's and Espresso to like, uh, what else have I done? Self Magazine and pop chips and all kinds of stuff like that. Oh, so yeah. So she's working. Like how, yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much how I make my money. I mean, I don't. If, if you want to call it a real job, I don't have a real job. I don't nine to five it. I mean, I make enough money doing this. I don't have to work that hard. Yeah, she's working. Yeah, but Ian didn't pay her. Yeah, huh? Well, that sounds like Ian. <laughs> he didn't give you actual uh, yeah, cash cool. at the end of it no, for your time. I no, but I mean, I'm cool with like the clothes thing. I've worked, I've done trades before. Like, hmm. I worked for like a buttload of makeup. I worked at a trunk show, and they gave me a couple pieces. So I consider that compensation. But cash would have been nice. How much did you want? Uh, I can't disclose that because my prices vary depending on the client. Hmm. Well, yeah, but um, uh, you can you could disclose how much for a general. Thing like that, I don't think that's a because that was a that's not. You make it sound. You make it sound. You can disclose for a general client who just wants a, a rub rug and rub and tug. No, no, no. I don't mean <laughs> sex. I don't mean. I don't mean sex stuff. I, I I mean I'm trying to say it in a way like that's kind of a, a potential gig for you. You're hanging with a guy, but it's not like a modeling gig, which would pay a lot more. Yeah, all day to hang out and make like you're some guy's uh, girlfriend for a radio show, like. That's probably a lower end paying gig yeah. as a parent. So like, if you were modeling for something, you would obviously get paid more. That's a, a, a more legit gig. So I'm yeah, just, I'm just trying to word it like that. My day rate, my day rate's like eight hundred. Okay. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So you would have okay. day rate. If you want me, if you want me for eight to ten hours, then you're gonna have to pay me eight hundred. So what he did, if he would have just handed you like, unless we're unless we're cool. <laughs> right, right, right. Or unless it's gonna lead to to other work or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How tall are you? I mean, I just a uh, five eight. Is that the right size for a model? 
Just short. No, you're supposed to be five nine. You're supposed to be five nine with a thirty four inch hip, but I have way too much junk in the trunk, so <laughs> I'm not like considered. I'm not considered agency model. Okay. Agency standard, but I get mad work. I look more realistic, so I get more of like the promotional side. I target. I market myself more as like that Target Gap Old Navy type of look. Like if mm-hmm. you've seen my book, like most of my stuff is like smiling sweaters and jeans, like jump shots, stuff like that. I don't really do a lot of lingerie, and I don't do any nudes and stuff like that. Do you have a big hiney? Because you said uh, junk in the trunk. Oh yeah. Yeah, she got. She yeah, got, she got an model. ass on her. You've seen it? Yeah, I know. I did. I wasn't here. Yeah, Jimmy wasn't here. Ass on her. I was well, away. You missed. You missed. You missed the best. Ever. I I well I actually that I'm a dancer and I was on the road I I I'm, I was in a dance troupe and oh, we well, travel. You, you work at Chippendales. I want to come see you. Sometime. No, no, not that kind of dancer. I do like <laughs> um, <laughs> mo- what's that? Yeah, I do modern art and uh, like kind of interpretive dance. I don't get interpretive dance. Like it's just I'm like, what's going on here? I don't either. Even when I'm smoking a joint, I don't get it. That's oh. stupid. Yeah, it's like you know, just you, you think of a dance like you interpret it. <laughs> 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 oh my god uh, There's a picture of your hiney now Talking to one of the blue creatures And you have money um, There's a picture of you yeah, in th- I gave him, yeah, you know what I was like, look at these Mexicans out here in Times Square hustling So you know, I'll give them a dollar These I'll, Mexicans a dollar. <laughs> Little <laughs> Mexicans in their dumb yeah, little hot yeah, suits un- Yeah, unbeknownst to me I'm getting videotaped from behind And that's the same asshole who's like Those cunts are hideous Yes, I did my research Oh, yes, damn. Wait, the same guy yeah. who said you guys are hideous is the, the same, same one that posted? same guy. He was like, he was like, I seen him on Opie and Anthony and uh, with those ugly cunts, and I got video of him falling for the Elmo scheme, whatever, some stupid shit like that. And I was just like, what an ass. Yeah, I don't, think, <laughs> I don't think that you're ugly. I just, I need more photos of you. I only saw no. the one, and you look rather cute. Yeah, absolutely. And I hear yeah. you're a lovely girl. There's nothing wrong with her. She is walking personality. The over there. Walking away with Ian. see. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's... <laughs> you said there's nothing wrong with me. I've got personality over here. The only thing that was wrong is I'm walking away with Ian. <laughs> yeah, walking away with Ian, that's the, that's the po- hard part to swallow. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty. Like, oh, I can... See. Can you go back a little, Danny? I, I think there's a little profile view, a side view. When you walk away, of, you can see where the, the uh, hiney is. Yeah. Hold Juicy. On. Yeah, very lovely. You got a lot oh. of juice. And, uh, oh, yeah, and, I, and I'm a white guy, so <laughs> I typically... Juice. Yeah. I, I I date white girls, and I, I I mean I'm a typical white dude, but I like you y- like a little juice. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay. It's okay if you're down with brown. I mean, I get it. Oh no, I'm not uh, yeah. ashamed of it. I, I just I just I mean, it's just saying tip. What's that? Is, are you the oh, Ant's not down with no, that's Brown. that's Anthony. No, he's, <laughs> he's not, down, not down with Brown. He won't even use UPS. <laughs> <laughs> Most of those guys look like they're wearing long pants. <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> they only hire, like, Brown at this point, I think. UPS? UPS, yeah. So, yeah, I, oh, this is so fucked up. Do you date white guys? Uh, you know what? It doesn't really matter to me, but uh, I prefer Middle Eastern. I don't know why. I got this thing for a uh, Do you really? really? Wow, that's weird. You like when yeah, plain... I don't know. I don't know what that is. Mm. What do you like about the Arabs? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know that the dark eyebrows. They always sound sexy. I don't know what it is. Do you though. like when you get on a line? How everybody just clears away, and you can immediately go to the front of it with them. <laughs> so, so you you, you like the uh, the dark Middle Eastern like Mediterranean type guys? Uh, Lebanese. Lebanese. The guy that I was talking to. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Do you like mm, hairy guys? Yeah, they got a lot of hair. No, he's not hairy. He's not. He's not that hairy. Like the ones that I've been with aren't that hairy. Do you prefer them uncircumcised? Ew! No way. Cut that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that I'm not shit. It. No, I'm not touching it if it's like if it's hiding from me. If I have to go play hide and seek with it. Ugh, no, not, <laughs> Cut so. that shit. See, I was, <laughs> I, I was circum. I know she's acting like it's a tag on a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> I was circumcised, but I kind of wish I had my foreskin back. I resent it. Why? What? Because you, you're born a certain... I, I was circumcised, um, and, I, and I kind of wish I had my foreskin. Are you kidding? No. Why would you want that? Because I've beaten my penis up masturbating so much. I feel like it's a boxer without that fucking protective helmet. <laughs> like, if I had the, if I had the foreskin, maybe I would have been a little gentler with it, and I'd have some more sensation. Sensi- sensitivity? Yeah. Oh. Oh, God, no way. No. And then you would not find a chick 
like worth it to roll that shit down and put her mouth on it. No way. Well, if you keep it clean, I mean, I'm not saying I would be unclipped and There's dirty. No such thing is keeping that thing clean. I don't <laughs> care who you are. There's no such thing as keeping that thing clean. Lint gets in there inevitably. Lint. It's like prime time real estate for lint and like whatever stuff goes on. Gack. There. Oh, you don't like that? Uh, Normally what would be absorbed by the front of the uh, undies uh, after you take a leak or something, maybe, is, is yeah, now yeah, just yeah. pooling up in there and rotting. Does Do that you, shit smell, uh, Olive? What does it smell like? Oh, God. Uh, I only got close to it once. I was just like, oh, my God, what is this? I'm not touching it. Uh. I don't know. I can't explain that smell. It just smells like something old. It smells like something old. <laughs> I think I know. I'm like, what? I'm like, what is this? Like butter gone wrong or something? I'm like, oh. uh, it smells uh, like a belly uh, button. A belly button. Yeah, yeah. God, I'll, damn. I think we got a new little, friend of the show. Piss smell with a little bit of a piss smell. I'm like, sure, a bit of a piss smell to it too. It happens uh, that you try to shake it. That last little drop hides under the fleshy hood. Ugh. Jimmy might be jerking off to you later. Clip that shit off. Would you come in and see us again? Uh, uh, maybe. Yeah, you should. Maybe if you guys are nice to me this time. We're not paying. Yeah. You, yeah. you were just, you were just uh, collateral damage for the bombs that were flying over to Ian. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. when he comes in, we just get confrontational. It's it's all about just oh, going yeah, at him. I knew it. I mean, I know there's nothing personal. You guys just have to be assholes on the air because that's the yeah. only way you can make a check at the end of the month. So. Well, there you go. She just, she just <laughs> described our show. That's our exactly. job. How sad is that? That's what our bosses said That's to actually us. in the contract. Yeah. 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 Be assholes. In the contract. Make complete assholes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Others around you. Yeah. yeah. Yes. It's really weird to look at a contract and see uh, here within and assholes in the same sentence, but <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> legal jargon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you should you should come in because I didn't get a chance to meet you, and you seem very uh, very cool. I'm very very cool. Yeah, I'm that's cool I'm 42. That's my idea of, of a compliment to a girl. You seem very cool, like I'm 11. <laughs> if, I, if I give you gum, will you come in? I suck. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Just keep in touch, guys. All right, all right, Al. Thank right, you for thanks. calling, and sorry we woke you up and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Go back to All sleep. Right. All right. <laughs> Bye, Olive. For sure. Later. Right, bye, bye. And the whole time, the zombie's been uh, listening. Hey, he's been listening in. in. ECW zombie. Say brains. He's gone. Oh, he's gone. Oh. Right, well, like, she was very knows. nice. All right, Jimmy. What's the deal? I believe her. I think she's an actress or a model or whatever. Do you think if if it's the right situation? She... I don't know. Nah, I don't think <clears> she's for money, a... sex. Nah. Not I... yet. Anyway, if things don't pan out for her in a short time, I think uh, she might have to. Dip over into that side. Yeah, no, nah, I think that she would, you'd know it. Like, uh, she seemed like she was legit. Like, she's not a hooker. She's just a girl who, a lot of girls model and act and stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. And won't ever I fuck could you say for that. money. I right. think she'd have to yeah. like you to fuck you, and she wouldn't expect money for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't get that vibe off her at all. A lot of people are legit. Yeah. yeah. At, at 20, and then, you know, 25 hits, and, uh, and now what? And then maybe, you know, start pushing 30. Well, <laughs> I saw Anthony jotting a poem down, by the way, while she was yes. talking for his girl. He goes, if you ever fall, I'll always be there to catch you. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever fall. <laughs> <laughs> well, they went ice skating. <laughs> oh, what an asshole. <laughs> Remember that one? Yes. Yeah, we do. His poem stunk. <laughs> it doesn't rhyme. Dumb poem. So, we'll get into the boxing thing after the break. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, uh, do so, we, this leads do to we Ian Halpern. What I said... That upset yeah, Ian. We yeah. have that. We I went through the. I went through what happened after Ian Halperin left, yeah. and I got the most damaging of damaging audio that was said. Okay, because I'm trying to think, because and I can't think of anything that I said that was any worse than anything everybody else was saying. Well, plus you wouldn't say anything to his face. It was only after he left. While he was in the room, you wouldn't insult him we at beat all. The oh my shit god! Out of him when he yeah. was in here. I know. Like I, I didn't say anything bad to him when exactly. he was in here. And then, after I left the studio, you you were uh, saying things behind my back. How about a boxing match? You want to box? Face. How about a boxing match? Like, yeah, really? Right outside this building, the He's, boxing match is going to happen. Oh, one, round, one round. One round. You got to get permits for the boxing match? One round, that's all I'll need? TKO. He's a TKO mm. you one round. You're wonder out. Which, wonder which type I should use. Uh-oh. Is that her? No, go back to one. Oh, that's uh, the That's other her? She she accepted my friend request. Oh, <laughs> she's got nice pictures she's on Facebook. She's very pretty. Yeah, absolutely. Wow, she let me looks, say, 
She definitely didn't, didn't look that good in studio. She was all nighter. She, she, she was uh, upset about the way they. Uh, wow! Shots. Holy shit! She was upset with what they'd done with her hair at the parlor. Oh really? Yeah. She's pretty. Cool. I, I I normally just date white girls, but I think Olive and I are going to have to uh, make a go at it. Right? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Oh, she'll date me without you. Please give it a little little shot, man. Yeah. So yeah. So oh, Ian Ian tweeted yesterday he wants to box Anthony because of the stuff that was said after the show, which is crazy because the stuff uh, on the show was pretty wild. Uh, and the other thing to the listeners that don't get it, I, I don't know what to tell you. They're like, why would you have Ian on if you guys hate him so much? How Shut long have the you been listening to the show? Yeah, if you don't get it, that's the whole please. reason we have him in is for that confrontation. Because you're living vicariously through him, right through his <laughs> highness. <laughs> it's like that's her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's her usually without the makeup. Well, and look, then... here's the thing: when when you have a Facebook page, you're gonna put the best pictures of it. You're not gonna put what you really look like. You're gonna right. put the angles that make you look better than you are. So. Yep. You know, you can't just look at a profile picture and be like, oh, she's hot. Even that picture, she's all right. The hair's a little too curly in, in that one, but... Are you saying but, nappy? She's a, a Ray Dawn Chong thing. A little nappy. She's trying Betty, Betty Boop lips but, there. She's yeah. got, like, eye makeup there. She's got That's really working. nice eyes and really big lips. You hear this? That's what happens right there. When you slap, like, your three-quarter hard dick on a lips. <laughs> <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll play the clip that got Ian all riled up. Oh, great. And and had him tweeting that he wants to box Anthony outside this studio. I can't yeah, wait for the I boxing just, match. I popped up Twitter last night. I'm like, what the fuck is it? <laughs> what am I in a battle? Yes, you yes. are. But this guy, give me a break. You know what's Maybe funny? Get Ian on the line, matter of fact, after the break. Yes. We're Ian Halpern. Uh, yeah, what about A him? very controversial figure. Yes, that, he is. Uh, comes on the show from time to time. He had his big Charlie Sheen movie the other night. Did anyone see it? I, I on wanted the TV to. Guy channel, yeah. On the TV Guy channel, yeah. TV Guy channel. I heard it did all right. Um, but after his appearance, we beat the shit out of him for like two hours or mm-hmm. however long it was. It seemed like two hours. Yep. I guess Ant really just ran his mouth after Ian left. I don't remember saying anything after the show that was any more inflammatory than what was said during the show or any more inflammatory than everyone else was saying during and even after the show. So I don't know why he decided to uh, uh, jump on my fucking shit about it, but... Uh, my response is, uh, fuck him. I, I, I could give a shit. Well, we got the clip that got him mad. Oh, okay. Got him so mad that he tweeted yesterday that he wants to box you outside yeah. this very uh, building. He put an S in front of my last name, so it was Anthony Scummia. Oh, oh boy. Wow. You are a wordsmith. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened, I guess, after he left. I got him mad. Say goodbye. You're out. Take it Bye. easy, His Bye. Highness. Bye. Yeah. Here Bye. goes His Bye. Highness. Good luck to you on the uh, TV Guy Channel. Yeah. It's Charlie yeah. Sheen movie tonight. Sounds oh, amazing. Oh, look at me. I'm, ca- oh, oh, hold on. Make- I'm calling him His Highness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking t- plugging his TV Guy Channel show. You're doing everything show. properly. What the fuck? <laughs> Let's go back to the Ian clip from after Friday show. <laughs> you're out. Take it easy, His Highness. Here goes His Highness. Good luck to you on the uh, TV Guy Channel. Yeah. It's Charlie Sheen yeah. movie tonight. Sounds amazing. It's enjoy- uh, it was fun. He man. did make that fun. He's such oh, yeah. a cock and he really is. He really is. Isn't he just like... He drives people nuts. He's the fans so... fucking hate him. What he does is you say something off the cuff. Oh, these are old jokes. Oh, uh, old he jokes. And then he tells three old jokes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a, and I that, understand your that, dick is two inches that, from the floor. That, got stretch marks around your mouth and you're stale. That, that was that, from the Ron Jeremy joke book. <laughs> I was doing a documentary about him and his jokes. <laughs> TV Guide channel. The light one, the, the darker bird, she seemed to be yeah. sort of into... <laughs> the crow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny line. was a funny improv line. Uh, now there, again, nothing any worse than was said during the show. Or by anyone else. Jim Jeffries was going off well, I don't like know. a maniac there. So, so he tweeted yesterday, he wants to box you, right? Yeah. He I don't wants know the exact tweet, but something me. like, uh, he called you out, he wants to box you. One round is all, all it's going to take, and he wants to do it and outside I, this I, building. I agreed. One round would be all it would take. <laughs> I would just have to choose which one. <laughs> Hollow point. <laughs> dum dum. <laughs> Wad cutter. <laughs> Like that scene in the Raiders? <laughs> yes, exactly. Fucking, what was it, knives? The guy was uh, with the spinning the fucking sword around. The Swords, big, I mean, yeah. That big fucking Arab like, sword. Fuck that, would I have this? No, I, uh... Well, we got Ian Halpern on the line here. Uh, your Highness, how did your uh, your TV Guide movie go? Went very well. I want 
want to thank everybody at Opie and Anthony for having me on. I'm, I'm glad Norton's in there. I'm a, I'm a, Norton. I idolize Jim Norton. Hello. And you guys outed me today. Look, I've been working on a book about Craigslist the last three years, undercover. It's called How the Wild Wild Web, dot, 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 Craigslist. And uh, you guys got me, and kudos to you guys. You know, I got egg on my face this morning, and uh, I, listen, I love Anthony, man. You guys have lasted ah. so long in this business. There's so many pretenders in this business, and that's all I have to say. Look at his, his oh, highness, hey, his majesty. Let, let me just finish. Let me, let me finish. <laughs> yes, yes. I love ONA. I've loved being on your show all this time, and uh, thank you for the opportunity, guys. That's all I can say. Great work today. So, Ian, what you're saying is you did this um, this uh, Craigslist thing yesterday, or the, the other day, Friday. Uh, uh, as part of an undercover uh, operation for a new yeah. book that you're putting out. That's right. What I'm saying is you guys will be in the book. I've, I've been working on a book about Craigslist for uh, almost three years now, and uh, it's all about going undercover on Craigslist and all the, the stories about how Do the you, wild, wild web are you, are, plays out. Are you married? Uh, no, I'm not. I, I have a daughter, I'm a father, and uh, mm -hmm. I take parenting extremely seriously. How are you taking it seriously when you're just traveling all the time? Well, you know, I, uh, <laughs> I make time for my daughter. I can't even leave morning. my house. What are you talking about? Yeah, but you, 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 have, a, you have a baby, Opie. When I, when I had my daughter, when I, you know, the first seven years, I was with my daughter 24-7. And then I resume. And you figured career. at seven years old, she's learned everything she needs from her dad. That's it. That's all she could take. She kicked her father out at seven years old. Yeah, he, he said, How are you? She said, Don't you have a book to write? <laughs> hey, what, whatever happened with that girl I met in Montreal with you who was fucking. Well, she was legit. She she's, was smoking, uh, man. I but what? dated her for uh, several months, and uh, because she lives in Norway, oh. you know, a long distance relationship is very good. You know, every time I get on a fucking plane, like 13 hours to you know get checked it doesn't she was very pretty yeah she was wow is she nice mm. yeah but norton you know i love you guys man and i bravo of course you he know, does when i came back i said all these guys and travis your producer told me it didn't play down that way all you guys have to do is check the security role at Sirius that day, Facebook her, and you owed his highness. I said it would be so easy to do that, but apparently played down another way. But hey, to everyone at ONA, I got egg on my face today. <laughs> I acknowledge it. They got me. They went undercover. to Undercover. We, we, learned, we learned from the best, uh, your highness. What happened with this boxing thing? Walk us yeah, through that. Me and, me and Anthony, you know, I set up a makeshift ring outside the Sirius building. <laughs> Austin yes. La Jolla would referee. <laughs> right, right. And Anthony would spar. Now, he wants to use a gun. I'm no, no, I never I'll said that. I'll let him draw first. He didn't say he was going to use a gun. I never he, said I was going to use a gun. He might have threw the bullets. Yeah, Anthony does throw bullets. I do, yes, I throw them very hard. Much the way like a monkey throws his own semen, Anthony <laughs> throws bullets. <laughs> Don't be confused. It'll, it'll leave a little damage. No, I would, uh, I, I would never do that unless I felt my life was being threatened. And uh, by the likes of... Uh, a uh, little Jewish man from can can Canada. Uh, I wouldn't feel I'm that not way. So. That small, Anthony. I know yeah. you're 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 a big gentleman. That's that's fine. Yeah. No, but you know, I thought me and Anthony going a couple of rounds in front of all the serious listeners would be a lot of fun. I don't think so. I'm not. I'm. I don't like getting punched. I don't like being punched in the head. It's a feeling that uh, it doesn't feel good. Yeah, I hear you. No, you know what? Maybe it was a bad idea. That yeah, a uh, little bit. So you're yeah. back in down off the boxing match. Well, if he do it, I, you know, I'd step in the ring today with Anthony, and then we would go out for a few beers after, and uh, you know, maybe I'd get Jill Nicolini to referee the match. Why are you obsessed with showers. Jill Nicolini? That's years ago. Yeah, you know what? Nicolini that might be what, three years ago now. She has no like idea. Four .0 GPA. And she only <laughs> talks good things about Anthony. And when uh, was the last time you talked to her? Yeah. I talked to Jill about a year ago. I was on their TV show at, uh, what is that, Channel 11 she's on or something, CW11. Yeah. CW, is it? Yes. Yeah, you're right. And Pix, Pix uh, 11 yeah, now. Act. I know her mother very well. You know how I met Jill? I met her on the Sally Jesse Raphael show. We were both guests. And, you know, to me, there's very few people left in the media I respect. And I'll say this on your show with all due respect to you guys, because I respect you guys to the utmost. I respect Howard. I respect Judith Regan, um, Murdoch, you know, people who are on the playing field. But 
I miss people like Sally Jesse Raphael, who I thought was a fantastic host, fantastic personality. You know, there's not many of us left today in the media who give that fiery controversy. That like always says us. Who are personalities. And mm. uh, I've always said you guys should have your own TV show. You're, you're, uh, you're, you're, you're mellow, Ian, today. Well, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's keeping it real. He's egg on the face, Ian. He's keeping it real. He's humble. He's a little humble today. You've been humbled? Uh, you guys humbled me, man. You outed me. You're the first people. Oh, well. You, well Ian, I always thought I'd be making this phone call. <laughs> 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 Ian. I told you if someone could do it better than his highness, I'll be the first guy <laughs> tipping highness. my cap to them. So I called in and said, bravo. <laughs> Ian, you know what you got to do now, right? You tell me. You got to take a dick from Shaq. Well, you know, Shaq, I'm sorry, uh, brother, but you said it a lot on Friday about Shaq humbling people with throwing with his Shaq's dick. dick around a lot. Uh, I think you might have to take uh, Shaq's dick now. I don't take dick. That's one thing. Well, you if know? you've been humbled, it's not gay. No, That's true. No, 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 Jimmy yeah, knows. There's no dick coming to his highness's way. <laughs> Nothing, it's not gay to take dick if it's a wager. Being That's settled. right. If, you lose if you're bet. settling yeah, a wager, true. it's okay. That's right. Anthony. Yes. I'll call him Sir Anthony. Today. Thank you, sir. Damn. Man, Sir that's Anthony good. If steps in the ring with his highness in front of Sirius Radio, I'll pay for the whole event. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> just a goes, jerk. The winner, the winner yeah. gets a date with, the loser gets a date with Shaq. How's that? Uh, now, you know what? Like I said, I, uh, I, I'm really not into any type of, uh, getting hit in the face or, or body that. with, with any, any kind of, uh, punches. I respect that. So hey, how's about you, referee, hurts. and Opie will step in the ring with his highness? Oh, all right. Were you hoping that we would really react to the Sally Jesse Raphael thing? Because we really didn't give you much on that one. I know. Maybe She's a kook. Like her, but, uh, you know, I knew Sally Jesse, and she, she was a player, man. She had a radio show. She had a TV show. She lasted like 25, 30 years. How many years she was she on TV? Anyone, I have no fucking respect for anyone in this business who comes out for a cup of coffee. I've been in this business over 20 years. You guys have been in this business for eons. I think you were older than Moses. I think you were reading the news off the tablets back in the day, you guys. But you're around. You're players. <laughs> <Boo>! <laughs> How long's Nick Cannon been around? He's been and blasting for all. <laughs> you know, Nick Cannon right now is listening to this show. In person. Yes. And he's getting a hard on uh, There's something about that relationship. By the way, read the news. I said the governator was the biggest womanizer in Hollywood ever. Yeah. And, uh, hey, it, it, a lot of people criticized me. Ian, hold on a minute. I, and I know you don't like listening. Now you got egg on your face. Let's uh, let's. I really want to ask you a real question here. In your book, yep. uh, The Governor, which you went undercover for, yep. did you know that he had a love child with uh, with the help? Yes, yes. Is and it in I the have book? Documentation of that. We couldn't provide corroboration, and the publisher said, "Don't go with it." The lawyers vetted it. Oh no! But you like a good lawsuit, Ian. Well, you know, at yeah. this age, uh, we, we don't need a good lawsuit with uh, the governor. But uh, one thing is, you know, ironically, his people called me, and I'll tell you a good story. It was the California oh. Chamber of Commerce. I rarely do public speaking. I used to do it. I used to tour around when my, my Cobain stuff was popular. And I rarely go out and speak in public anymore. So anyhow, his former political advisor... Uh, who was in Sacramento with him. Her name's Pat. She called. She wanted me to be the keynote at the California... Pat Chamber who? I, I think I know her. Pat who? Uh, what's her last name? Mathani? <laughs> Google Pat. Google it. Google it. <laughs> a anyhow, so I went, I went there. They brought me out. Flew me first class <laughs> to a place called Ontario, California. Uh -huh. And I'm telling you, I didn't prepare one note... When they were introducing me, the senator of California was in the front row. This was a few months ago. All that's going on in my head, I say, what the fuck am I getting into here? Language. You know, the, the lights go on, but when I stepped on the stage, it was showtime. I had them laughing for an hour. So you got... Uh... It was a eulogy. <laughs> yeah. you, you got that... Uh... You got that power. When you hit the stage, uh, you know it's time to perform. <laughs> well, well, yeah, you, you know, when the lights go on, you, you got to deliver. Oh, I hear you. What, what is he saying? He lost me a while. He's talking about no, Pat. I, I know who Pat was. Yeah, who's Pat? Um, <laughs> her name was... Uh, 
Uh, um, Pat Taylor Cakes. <laughs> she would always just use her middle initial. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. I thought it was Pat E. O. Furniture. <laughs> Did you guys still love me? Yeah, we love you. Uh, how could we but, not? But now that the Orny uh, thing yeah. is out there, what could you add to that story uh, that's no, breaking? Oh, no, it was Pat E. Wattop. I hope, I hope <laughs> Anthony gives it to her right from behind, right in the mouth. You know, the the way Anthony gives it. I, I hope he gives what? it to her. What? So you have really nothing hard. to add to the Arnold Schwarzenegger story. You said oh, you had documentation and all that. Like, who was the help? Ah. It, um, the help who he was fucking Arnold? Yeah, that he so had the baby <laughs> with. <laughs> no. No, the one who forgot to return the fucking weed whacker to the neighbors. Former living housekeeper, and let me tell you. I think he, I think he's going through a newspaper right now, hoping he can get some knowledge. Yeah, uh, you said you have documentation. The kid might be as old as ten at this point. Yeah, yeah ten years old. And who was the help? I, I don't. You think I give a shit about who was the help today? It was a, it was a housekeeper? All that I care about is book sales. The book's going through the roof today. You know. I'm, I'm, Hopefully, due, due to an explosion in your house. <laughs> yes. my whole, my from, the, from the stuff. Is about Arnold sex capades. That's all it's about. Yeah. Except for this one. And everyone doubted his highness. Well, they all said it's not well, true. His again, you've been vindicated. Came on the record and said he's fabricating all this. Well, where is that mooch today? What's that guy? Aaron, whatever his name was. His name was Aaron, and just because he's Aaron. not getting off the hook today. Hold he on, Aaron. Aaron who? Fabricating the whole thing. Aaron who? Aaron who? Aaron Burr. You know, I, I live in the now. My Neville? My like shot from all these uh, goddesses <laughs> and pseudo goddesses, whatever. Aaron Comahank? Who is it? <laughs> Google it. Google it. Google it. Google, Google, it. Google, Google it. Google it. Google it. It's catchphrase. Google it. He came out in the New York Post. Google Aaron. And Ian, he said it on page six in the New York Post. You could Google it right now that I was fabricating the whole thing and it's mm. full of crap. Where is this douchebag today? Language. <laughs> <laughs> this is my home. Uh, <laughs> all right, Ian. Well, you Justin, have... how was your gig? It was good. Thank you. DC was very enjoyable. Ian, we can't just have a phone call today. We got to move on. So yeah, we got other, other Anyhow, things. Listen, to me, I love you guys. All yeah. the best. And uh, yeah, you got egg on your face. You're not boxing, Anthony, and you had the Arnold uh, scoop. Yes. Goodbye. But you couldn't yeah, put it in your I'm big book because you would have got sued. And then tweet. That okay. sounds good. Uh, Twelve Dubai. hours later, but no. Peace out, everyone. Opie and Anthony. Peace Rock, out. Goodbye, Jim Norton. All right, Ian. Got me today. Goodbye. Thank you, Ian Halperin. What is it, Bye, Ian Undercover on Twitter? Uh, yeah. Goodbye. I think it's Ian Undercover on Twitter. There, uh, there he goes. There is His Highness. And he will not wow. be joining this channel. No, People it is not uh, Ian. So it's not Bob Kelly, uh, and it's not Ian Halperin. Travis and I, the one thing we can agree upon is that Ian Halperin and Scorch are two of the greatest people to have ever walked the earth. And anytime we have anything to do with these those two on ONA, we're in heaven. His Highness Ian Halpern, we were just talking about Ian Halpern and Scorch. Ian Halpern was on on Friday. Right. And he mentioned that you are the best or one of the best DJs in New York City. Oh, that was very kind of him to say that. I didn't realize your skill level was that. Uh, and he said you DJ on Tuesday nights. Tuesday nights, 675 bar. Right. That's uh, in the meatpacking district. And uh, yeah. There's your, there's your people. All right. Well, I got to do some 675 bar in the meatpacking district? Yeah. Troy Kwan on Facebook and Twitter. Okay. 